Welcome to Matter Mosaic, piecing together the universe, one discovery at a time. Today, we're asking a question that has shaped science and belief for more than a century. Is evolution truly science or something closer to philosophy? Science is built on observation, testing, and repeatability. If something can't be directly observed or repeated, it moves beyond the boundaries of what we can call experimental science. We can observe small changes within species, dogs, finches, bacteria adapting to new conditions. But no one has ever observed one kind of organism turning into a completely different kind. That process, called macroevolution, is not something we can see or reproduce in a lab. It's reconstructed from fossils, DNA, and patterns in nature, which makes it a historical interpretation, not a repeatable experiment. When we look at the fossil record, we don't find a smooth chain of gradual transitions. Instead, we see sudden appearances of fully formed species, as in the Cambrian explosion, where most major animal groups appear abruptly. In genetics, the story is just as challenging. Mutations tend to break or degrade existing systems rather than create entirely new ones. And the complex, information-rich structure of DNA looks more like coded design than random accident. Even more striking, evolution begins only after life already exists. It doesn't explain how life itself began. That is a separate mystery known as abiogenesis. And so far, no experiment has shown life arising from non-living matter under natural conditions. So while microevolution, small changes and adaptations is real and observable, the idea that all life evolved from a single common ancestor through random processes remains unproven. At that point, the discussion moves from science into philosophy, a worldview about origins and meaning. In the end, science shows us adaptation, but the design of life points to intention. The deeper question is not just how life changes, but why it exists at all. Matter Mosaic, piecing together the universe, one discovery at a time.